Okay, asanti. Your Excellency, Baba Amoro Raira, tumekuja hapa siku ya leo tukiwa watu wa Tharakanithi. Watu wa Tharakanithi wanakupenda na tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kuwa mmoja wa wale ambao wanapatanisha unifying Kenya ambayo tuko saa hii ambayo iko na amani. Kwa jina yangu naitwa Dr. Herod Matemurethi ambaye umeambua na Secretary General watu wa Tharakanithi tumekuwa tunawafanyia kazi tukiwa na wamoru hapa tunafanya members recruitment na tumekuwa tuna support kwa hali na mali tukitumia pesa yetu kuhakikisha chama imevuma na tutaendelea kufanya hiyo kuna mambo mawili ambayo ningependa kukwambia baba ambao watu wa Tharakanithi wako na wanaitilia maana sana na ningeomba uiangalie kwa uwa, kwa makini kwa sababu itaendelea kutupea mailenge mzuri kwanza wakati wa 2017 wakati president wetu mpendwa alipitia pale sehemu inaitwa Chakariga ambaye ni Hodesi town within Tharaka aliwa promise in district ya Chakariga na hiyo district wale watu wako kule biongozi kwa sababu nao wote wanaimba tanga tanga walikataa kufuatilia wakaingia pale wakandanganya watu wakawaambia oh matiangi amekataa kusign ameweka fire kwa ofisi afanyi kusign baba patia hao watu hiyo district na watakupenda milele kwa sababu orende wanakupenda ya pili baba kuna baru, kuna barabara ilijengwa tangu 2013 inaitwa chuka kareni road imetengenezwa kilomita ine tangu 20 13 Iliundwa pale watu wakakuja wakakula pesa barabara iko pale ndio inatoka chuka kwenda and quarter county ya, ya Kadwana saa hii wale walikula pesa wanandanganya na wanaanza kupiga rais nayo na kwa sababu ni ndugu yako tungependa umwambie kwamba wale wako pale ground wanamu wanamutusi wakitumia hiyo barabara na ilari wao ndio wamefanya project ilari la mwisho baba tunaomba ukuje pale tharakanithi utembee pale usalamie watu wako sisi tuko rende kukuunganishia na kutengeneza kila kitu we are going to prepare a meeting for you na ninge na ningeomba ukiingia pale baba usiwe na haraka kwanza kabla ya mkutano ukutane na biongozi upale wale wa ground na mambo itakuwa sawa ni asanti Asante sana kwa sababu tunataka kusikia sauti ya kina mama nataka mwakilishi wa embu awe ni mama Mheshimiwa karibu sana Okay Um your excellency the right honorable Raila Amolo Odinga viongozi wengine ambao wako hapa mimi nimetoka Embu na ningependa tu kusema one or two things number one, kwetu someone might ask it would have been very easy to join another party and just move on because that is what happens when people don't want to put too much work into politics lakini mimi na wenzangu tuliangalia na tukaona we want to be in the right side of history tunataka kuwa katika mahali mzuri na historia ya hii inchi na kama kuna kitu ambacho kilifanya sisi na wenzangu mimi na wenzangu tuingie katika hii chama ya ODM ni kwa sababu In politics there's something called consistency. Na kama kuna mtu amekuwa very very consistent in this country in matters wanting to move this country forward, it is the right honorable Amolo Odinga. 
Namba ya pili, mahali tuko kama inchi. We want a leader who has a sobriety to put people together with the maturity of a father. The maturity of a father figure. Mzazi ambaye anaweza kuunganisha sisi wengine tukiingia siasa tukiwa na hida moto kidogo huwa tunakosea mwelekeo saa zingine kwa hivyo tunataka mtu ambaye ana uzoefu wa siasa ana uzoefu wa uongozi ambayo anaweza kutuweka pamoja kama nchi and that is where we are na sisi kama watu wa embu tumesema tunataka kuwa katika hiyo we want to be on that side of history when the history of this country is written. Because I have no doubt in my heart that the fifth president of this republic is seated right here with us. <laughs> na baba, maombi ya wa mama na maombi ya wa toto huwa inasaidia mzee wa boma sana. Mimi ni mkristo and I know we are told tuombe baba zetu, tuombe watoto wetu tuombe so that everything that we want to do gets complete having said that pale embu we have a road your excellency that is called the embu ring road and this is a road that was conceived so it, the, the concept was that we join all the constituencies of embu we have got four of them kwa hivyo tuko na barabara ilikuwa itoke Mahali kuna itwa Pia Mwea, Ipite, cut across Mbere South constituency, and then cut across Siakago, cut across Runyenges, and then Izunguke all the way to Manyata and get to town. That road has been done in phases, but there are some phases that have not been done. Watu walienda kutangatanga na wakasahau mambo ya hiyo barabara. Kwa hivyo kutoka Pia, that one has not been done. Kutoka keretire kwenda Siakago, that has not been done and if that could be complete your excellency you have no idea how the people of that place would be so grateful to you and your leadership the other one is that uh, sisi ni wakulima wa mira na soko ya mira kidogo imekuwa iki, ikiwa na shida hapa na pale kama hiyo soko inaweza kuwa streamlined ndio tuweze kufanya kitu inaitwa value addition and to make the crop more attractive for financial stability of our people tunaweza shukuru sana the most important thing ya sisi kama watu wa pande hiyo ni maji ya ukulima sisi ni wakulima and there were some dams that had been conceptualized also back in the day when i was in office na hazikuwahi kufanyiwa kazi they are still pending if those were done i'm sure the people of embu would also be very very grateful ya mwisho your excellency Tafadhali kuja embu, ongea na watu wa embu. We are ready, we are doing what we can, but sauti yako iko na maana sana. If you came to embu and talked to our people, I'm sure they will understand your leadership from another perspective. Saa zingine huwa tunachagua, lakini hata atuja, I was even telling the Secretary General, tunachaguana, Hata kama hatujaambiwa tunachagua tu sababu tunapenda uh, baba. Kwa hivyo if you come we are ready for you. We shall make everything uh, possible the arrangements that are necessary. We will do them and I'm sure the party itapata mizizi zaidi pale mashinani. Asante sana.